Katrina Du welcoming you to step into the valley with the three-step Realty Group. And today, we're gonna talk about one of the three steps of how to attract the most buyers to your home when you're selling it. Now there's three of them. There's preparing your home to sell, pricing your home to sell, and promoting your home to sell. And we're gonna focus on pricing your home to sell. Before we do that, I want to share with you this listing awareness chart that the National Association of Realtors has put together. And what it shows us is that the first three weeks of your home being on the market are the most crucial for the most exposure to your home. Because once you get past that three week hump, the awareness to your home starts declining. Because that's when people start seeing it on the market longer and start wondering, is there something wrong with this home? So that's another reason why preparing your home, pricing your home, and promoting it to its utmost potential is really crucial in those weeks one, two, and three. So to focus on pricing, I wanna share with you this other chart that the National Association of Realtors created for us, and it is how the impact of pricing your home impacts the visibility of your home. And what you can see here is how it correlates is how you price your home to how many people actually see it. So for people that price their home at market value are attracting about 60% of the potential buyers for that home. Now, the people that are pricing at 10 to 15% under market value are increasing their exposure through the pricing to up to 90% of those potential buyers for their home. Now on the other aspect of it, when a seller prices their home 10 to 15% above market value, they're reducing the potential buyer visibility to their home up to or down to 10%. And then what would happen is unfortunately when some people price their home that way, they end up seeing this. They have to reduce the price of their home. And then what they end up doing is selling it for less than market value. I want to share with you another strategy. So what I tend to recommend to my clients is price it at or just below market value. What I did when I personally sold one of my own homes is I took it to the extreme. I priced it way below market value around that 15%. And I didn't just sell it at market value because all that exposure that it created through me preparing the home, me pricing my home and me promoting the home, it meant that we ended up selling it above market value. <laughs> now, how do you get that price or that market value? How do you find that for your home? What you do, my recommendation is to sit down and list out all the features of your home. How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, what's the square footage of the home and what's the square footage of the lot? Uh, how many car garage, do you have a swimming pool, do you have solar? upgrades in the kitchens, upgrades in the bathrooms. So take that list that you created for your home and then you go out within the neighborhood and look at other homes that have recently sold that compare to your home. And that's where you get a good range of a possible market value for your home. Now one thing, don't go too far outside your market, your neighborhood, your personal market, right? Because then you could run into a neighborhood that's priced higher in value than your home or lower. And then you have a range that's way too big and it's hard to really narrow down what the market value for your home in your neighborhood is. Or here's the easiest way to do it. Call us here at the Three Step Realty Group and we would be happy to sit down with you for 15 minutes and go over a comparative market analysis for your home so we can help you find the right market value for your home and the right pricing strategy for you. We would even help you go through and figure out how to really prepare your personal home and how we would promote it. So that way we can help you attract the most buyers to your home and sell it for the most money for the fastest.